for the Waking Up Alone song that everyone remembers from the Pile Driver album. Uh, any memories of that? And who was Gertrude? What made you pull that out of your head? What did you pull that out of? Everyone, everyone <laughs> wants to know that. And like everyone thought Gertrude was the name of your parents. Here's the magical moment yeah. on that. I've never to this day met that woman. Really? Never seen. I wouldn't know that woman if she ran up to me and give me a hug and told me that I was a relative. And by the way, I did, I cut my part of that waking up alone in a uh, studio down in Midtown Manhattan. It might have been Hit Factory. She did hers in Nashville. They were put together and I've never seen that woman to my day. There's no anything about it. There's no mystery. There's no... Uh, Paul is dead, <laughs> you know, no, no magical stuff like on Beatles stuff where somebody's saying something to me. There was nothing, nothing tricky about that. The first song that I did, the Don't Go Messing With The Country Boy song, I did part of that in New York and I finished it with the great late producer Joel Dorn over in uh, Philadelphia. And they had the band on there that played it was Joel Weisburn and Deliverance. You know, there was a great movie out called Deliverance yes. many years ago with Reynolds and, uh, and John Voight. And, um, that song, diddle ding, diddle ding, diddle ding, ding, ding. It's the same people? Yeah, that's the same guy. Wow. Same guy did that. They're the ones that did the track on me, and of course, uh, Marshall, uh, Marshall Chapman, she's the one that wrote it. Her and uh, she, maybe Shel Silverstein had something to do with it in Nashville. I uh, call that, but it's funny how those things happen. I mean, you know, with, with, and with studios and stuff like that, there's a lot of that going. You never even see uh, those things. And since it was kind of a one off thing, that, I just had a dream about you, you know, that waking up alone thing. It's kind of a little cool thing about the road. And, I didn't enjoy it as much, of course, as I did that Don't Go Messing the Country Boy thing because I heard it all the time and it was my theme thing. You know, I went right. all over the world with that. And it had that Hillbilly Jim Temple thing. You knew what was happening. You know? And um, uh, it's, it's funny how people get those things. It's, it's funny. I, I've often been around the country like we do. And you know when you're got you, you go eat at night and maybe if there's a little restaurant there or a little lounge you go in and see acts and musicians and entertainers and you find find sometimes around the country you find some of the greatest entertainers that are just struggling little funny faraway towns that you never go to and then you and I'll be thinking you know said here I am I've got two gold records for songs that I did on those wrestling album wrestling album and pile driver on epic records on my wall at home and hear these great musicians, these guys are playing and singing and, uh, and they'll never even get a look at it. It's all about being in the right place at the right time, right? Well, Waking Up Alone, I like that song and I did find it unusual that in the Pile Driver music video, yeah, did you're, it that's see? the only one that's not in there. Yeah, yeah. So did yeah. they ever explain that? I'll tell you, I'll tell you what I think, that I, 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 there was a problem with some licensing on it. Okay. Some technology, I mean, some technical stuff with, uh, you know, copyright this, who knows. I don't know anything. It didn't interfere, interfere with me any, anyway. I got my two gold records through uh, because they went, uh, they went gold in Canada. Wow. My two gold records, they have the big ones for the albums. They're, from, they're for Canadian sales. You know. So do you remember the real name of the female? that they, It's just listed as Gertrude, which I think was your pig's name. That's which all was I unusual. know about. I don't know yeah. I don't who she was. I've never seen her. I wow. never talked to her. I don't know who she was. I don't know who the girl is. If she was just a studio girl or she was just a demo girl, or some girl they got to go in and cut it. I just, I just had it. I did my part. She did. I heard it. I heard it in the sets while I was doing this to her, and I just went through my parts. And you know how you like you'll do this. Uh, you'll do, you'll do this in other interviews. You do. You put them together. Yeah. Make them better or whatever you you decide. That's the way they. That's the magic of the recording industry. You know.